Okay, so um, you're gonna paint your pieces now with black tempera paint. This black tempera paint is already mixed with a little bit of dishwasher soap so that it holds and sticks to the wax. Now, the trick here is that you wanna do it even and you don't want it very thick and you don't wanna go back and forth, back and forth. You wanna paint it just in one direction. So when I lay it down here and I go in one direction, Okay, I just want to go and then turn it the other way. You see how I turned my brush the other way? And then, you know, right up to there. Now, the analogy I use is when you're painting with a brush, this goes with anything, whether you're painting your house or a canvas, you want to paint it like you're petting a cat. You know, when you pet a cat, you, paint, you pet a cat from the head going back to the tail. You don't paint like you're petting a dog right with a dog you go like this you don't want to paint like that you want to paint going like this so it's you know when you're painting if what works for you as a mantra is to go like this meow then that's fine but this is what you want to do okay just one coat you don't need it to be super thick it's okay if it gets over like this it's all right but do not paint the white border okay if you feel that you really really can't take that and you're like no I need to do all the edges like this that's fine if you want to go up to here and paint all these edges like this that's fine you can do that okay I, I don't have a problem with that but when you're doing that layer you do want to just go ahead and just paint it turn the brush around and paint it you don't want it to be super thick. You just want to be a nice, non-transparent coat of black. And then, once it's done, it needs to dry. I do not advise you doing this five minutes before the bell rings because then you have to put it in the closet and it's gonna be wet and it takes a little while for it to dry because of the soap that's in the paint. But that should be it. Now let me see, I don't know if you can see it with the camera or not, but you can see that there's no glue, you know, globs of paint anywhere. And that's all. If you grab the brush and then you, you don't even do this with the brush, if you just grab the brush and slap it right on there, you're gonna have a pool of paint. That's gonna affect your grade, and it's gonna affect the quality of when you start scratching out the paint revealing the wax color from underneath.